We got Annalee Lee Chopper. Now he's dressing up like Tupac, man. He had a little fashion shoot or something, man. He dressed up just like Tupac did in a certain instance or scenario. And he had in the same outfit, same poses. He's trying to capitalize, man, on the style, on the disposition of Pac, right? <clears throat> in the, in itself, man, that's, that's not original, homie. That's not having a mind of your own. Come on, fool. We need people to think for themselves, to exhibit something themselves. And it's got to revolve around more than just fashion, homie, or social media, or keeping yourself relevant, having streams and attention. It's got to have a purpose to it. A point to it, right? <clears throat> so that's why we're disappointed, man, with NLE choppers of our world, fool. We're not going to go in on them like we did Whack 100 or Funkmaster Flex or O3 Greedos, okay? But accountability, homie, truth, reality. Come on, now, that's essential. All right, somebody like NLE Chapo, he said King Vaughn came to visit him. After King Vaughn passed away, he said that King Vaughn's ghost was visiting him. His dog was acting strangely. He heard a scratching noise on the ceiling above him where his hat was. That's Annalie Chopper's claim to fame, homie. Recently. Fabricating some scenario where King Vaughn came to visit him after his passing. Come on, man. Annalie Chopper knows. He knows that he's just vying for attention. That's not genuine. Come on, bro. He, there's no way he psyched himself out to that degree to actually believe that King Von was visiting him. He's doing whatever's necessary for publicity. All right. So, Whack 100, Funk Master Flex, O3 Greedo. They insulted and shamed Pac, man. They literally said anything you could think of to disrespect that man. They never said it to his face, though. So, somebody like Anna Lee Chop, he's not taking it to that same sinister, self obsessed degree. You know what I'm saying? But in all reality, it's still detrimental, fool. That's the kind of thought process that leads to the Funk Master Flexes, the Whack 100s, the self-obsession, okay? That's what leads to jealousy and resentment. That's why those men resent Pac due to the intellect he exhibited. Tupac was acknowledging the corruption in the government, the political realm. He was sharpening his vocabulary and intellect. He was evolving. You know what I'm saying? Most don't do that. Most are too self-obsessed. They don't care about anything or anybody else enough to evolve past their addictions and character defects and inefficient tendencies, whatever it may be. Man, nobody's perfect. But some of us, we understand that life doesn't revolve around us. And we're okay with that. It's all right. It's okay. You ain't got to be the center of the universe. Annalie Chapa, it's going to be all right, homie. Encourage them young, impressionable fans to evolve past the blood diamonds, to acquire a purpose, to exhibit a bit of discipline and restraint, and to value the environment. How's that? We'll go ahead and offer that very simplified life applicable blueprint, bro. We've been doing it. We're going to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be patient and lenient. It's not easy, man. Oh, you see everybody just sop, sop, sop. Everybody wants to be cool and tough. Everyone wants to feel like an invincible renegade. With attention constantly being paid to them. Bro, that's crazy. We're not supposed to be toddlers, homie. Immortal toddlers. Bro, what's going on, man? It's crazy. Man, all of us are going to die at some point, bro. Are we going to have a purpose? Are we going to make an impact? Are we going to stand against the moral destroyers and power and the puppets that perpetuate their agenda? Or are we going to be those puppets? That's what it comes down to, homie.